Hello everyone and let's talk about how to get companions back. A lot of people have asked me in videos how I get Mako, how I get Jacer back and this is how you do it. Okay, so you just go to Odessan. Uh, you're going to come into this little room here. It's just beside uh, the Underworld Logistics. You'll see it. This is where you get your... Uh, Basically, this is your commander's uh, quarters, really. Uh, you get your stuff from the data pad there, but there's this little uh, companion locator terminal right here. You just click it. And it says, why we're frozen in carbonite, companions scattered across the galaxy. Much has happened in five years. Companions will be out there somewhere. Uh, I don't want to wait any longer for my companions. Pick that. Companions may return to you as future events until... Yeah, yeah, I understand. Got to ignore the message, and you can pick who you want back. So we've got Tano, of course, and Alara. So say we want Alara, just pick locate Alara Dorn. Do you want to unlock this companion? Yep. There you go. We've got Alara back. Good to have her back. All right, Alara Dorn has joined us as a companion. Now we can't summon a companion because it's stupid fucking auto starting chapter. I hate these fucking story chapters auto starting. But if we go to here you'll see that we have a Lara Dorn back. You can't summon her due to story. Fuck off with the stupid story. Seriously I hate the story. I hate the story. It just forces itself upon you. I want to go to Odessa and I want to turn in things. It's really annoying. In fact we'll just go back to Narshida. Screw it, I'll go back to my house on Narshada and we'll summon a Lara Dorn for us. I think the affection levels are still the same as where you left off. I still had rank 10 affection with Mako. Or not affection, influence, should we say. Alright, we're back in a place where we can actually summon our companions without story Nazis getting in the way. There you go, a Lara Dorn, rank 10 because we maxed affection with her. Let's proceed. There she is, back with all her gear. Sir? She's even got pants on! Impressive. Impressive. Alara, I'm impressed. Like, I'm so impressed with her. You know. She's got pants on. Okay, highly talented field medic. We can make her tank if we wanted. The only thing we did lose... Well, we still, we still got our weapon. Still got a weapon. Um, I can't take damage in my own stronghold. Ugh, there's nothing I can jump off of to take damage. To get her no, in fact, we can just make her a healer. Um, it's not a healer. Nope, it's not gonna heal anything. I can't take damage in me on stronghold. Anyway, I just want to see if she had her gun back, that's all. If I equip my gun, will she equip hers? Oh, she does have her gun. No, there it is there. You can see her gun there. We've got our, uh, ability to allies. Bolt blaster gear on, so we still got that on. You still get her gear on. You can recover her gear. Uh, simply by selecting, you select them if they're not summoned, and you can press reclaim inventory items if you really want the gear back from characters that you don't have. But there you go, that is how to, how to get old characters back. It doesn't work with all of them, ones that are available in a chapter, I don't think you can get back. Like if you get Vet, I don't think you can get back because she's in a chapter. Uh, I guess we'll have to do chapter 13 at some point, but anyway, that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me, we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.